Hello, I'm Wingsong Halo, and um, today I'm going to be reading a Harry Potter fan fiction called From a Black Hole to a Heart uh, by Neji Kitsune, which, you know, Naruto username. Great start, right? All right, so uh, I'll start that then. The summary is read, and you'll find out soon. I love it when there's summaries like that. They're just like, they might as well actually say this fic is terrible. Anyway. This is my attempt at a Hogwarts fic with someone from America. We'll see how it turns out. Only time can tell. My Draco! Guards him with herself, holding a katana. And then, like, a stupid little face that's like a carrot, a hyphen, and another carrot. So, you interested? I thought you would. Yeah, I thought you would interested. Now, let the story commence! And then, way too many exclamation points. Uh... Tilled hashtag repeated ad nauseum. It was a rather boring day at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Or, I'm sorry, and we are dream. Or so Draco thought, as he stared at all the occupants in the slithery and common room. It was his fifth year at Hogwarts, but he expected something exciting. Crab and Goyle were out of school, expelled, it seemed, for their stupidity. Most of the people in the common room were first and second years. All of a sudden, a voice sounded through the quarters. All students to the Great Hall! Draco looks around. Ooh, goody, an assembly. He casually walked out, remembering an insult to... Wait. Remember... Oh. It actually says remembering, but I think it was supposed to be remembering, but remembering an insult to the trio of Gryffindors? Like, what does that mean? He leaves the three behind, walking briskly ahead, after hearing an insult from Ron. The whole school filed into the Great Hall, seating themselves at their house's table. Dumbledore was standing in front of the teacher's table. Next to him was what? There was a girl standing next to him, and not just a normal girl. It's never just a normal girl. She had dark brown hair down to her mid-back, and brown eyes that almost looked like a dark orange. Hmm, her face had an enchanting beauty to it. Her clothes were rather different. She had on a black t-shirt that read Freak. She had on black loose-fitting leather pants. Also, a black leather trench coat that reached right down to the top of the heel to big black leather boots that had buckles all over it. I guess it was just a single black leather boot. On her neck was a spiked collar that had protruding metallic blue spikes. She wore black fingerless gloves. Okay, seriously. Draco looked at her strange-like. Strange-like? Seeing if he was dreaming. That girl's shirts tells it all. She's wearing multiple shirts. She is a freak, he thought to himself. She looked around at students shyly. Then Dumbledore spoke, Hogwarts students, this is Rachel, an exchange student from Unipeg School of Magic in America. She will be switched to our school in the fifth year, so Mr. Filch, if you please, bring out the sorting hat. After a few minutes, Filch came in, carrying the stool and hat. Rachel gingerly sat on the stool, placing the hat on her head. The voice of the sorting hat sounded in her ears. Ah, you, you are from America. Well, I can't put you in Ravenclaw and Slytherian. Which one do you chose to go to? Rachel thinks to herself. Slytherian sounds nice. All of a sudden the hat yelled out, Slytherian! Which I guess is a new house. The Slytherian table erupted into thunderous clapping from the last table. Obviously by the looks of her clothes, they thought she would be in the dark house. Wow, fuck you. She sat near Draco, just in front of him. Next to her was Millicent and Pansy, but she looked ahead at Draco. So, um, hi, rather nice school, ain't it? She says, looking around, admiring the decorations. Uh, sure, he responds. Then Dumbledore speaks yet again. Now, a feast in honor of our new student. Yeah, because, you know, there's totally feasts just to honor a single student. After those few words, food, not just any food, by American food, by American food, appears on the tables, most looking at it strangely, few asking her what everything is. She ate ribs and baked potatoes and finished it off with a bowl of mint chocolate chip ice cream. 
Yeah, because everybody knows how American that is. I mean, unless I'm stupid. Is that really American? You know, I when you said American food, I was thinking like apple pies, cheeseburgers, you know, all that stereotypical stuff. But nope. After the feast, they all headed towards their common rooms. Rachel was chatting with Blaze. So, what's on your schedule, Rachel? She asked. Wait, did they just refer to Blaze as a she? Where, where did that come from? Anyway, she asked. Uh, let's see. Transfiguration, care of magical creatures, da da. Charms, divination, history of magic, and Amagus class. Yeah, because that's a thing. It's advanced transfiguration. It's... <sighs> Lanuages, elements, sorcery. Elements and sorcery? Are you serious? Home ec. Herbology and foreign cultures. I had those in America. I guess they are new to your, sc your school from this year, she told her fellow Silurian. And then a bunch of tilds and hashtags again. A-N. So, sound good so far? No. I hope it dies. Flames will be used to fuel my bashing machine. In other word, they won't be tolerated. That was more than one word, actually. but Reviews are always welcome. A well as constructive criti yeah, criticism. That was shorter than I thought it would be. But, um, yeah, that was from... from a, uh, I can't talk. From a black hole to a heart, and um, thank you for being here. Bye.